Photobooth tutorial. I'm Mark and I'm here to help you set up your welcome screen. So what's a welcome screen? Well a welcome screen is the first screen that appears on your photo booth. Uh, the default screen when you first set up a photo booth is your photo booth screen which actually um, drives the camera uh, shutter to open and um, so what, what you so you really don't want to have that on uh, on your camera on for a long, long period of time because you, you may cause your camera to overheat. So in order to protect your camera and also to give your photo booth a professional uh, look with the uh, personalized welcome screen, um, the, it's a good idea to set up your photo booth with a welcome screen. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first what we need to do is make sure that we have our folders in order. So in your, I'm using the red curtains um, free uh, photo booth screen images uh, or skins and you could download this from the website by the way um, and what we're looking for is we're looking to create the welcome screen so this is the screen we want right there and uh, in order to do that what we first got to do is we got to create a folder so I'm going to create a folder now you don't have to create your folder in the uh, folder where your other images are you could create it and you could it, it, it can be its own folder if you like um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to create it right in the same spot. Now I'm going to name this folder Welcome. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to drag over a couple of files. The first one obviously being the Welcome, the welcome image screen. And the other one is the Camera Not Connected. Now I want this Camera Not Connected file in two locations. I want it in the, in the uh, image, Photo Booth image folder. But I also want it, so I'm just going to copy it. I also want it in my welcome folder because in the event that I happen to turn off the camera while it's in the welcome folder, it's gonna <clears throat> it, it it will have this screen to show instead of the default uh, screen, which is not very attractive. Okay, so now that we have that, so let's go ahead and get into our DSLR Remote Pro and let's get into the photo booth settings. So we want what we want to do here. Uh, one, make sure you're pointed in the right place. So I'm in the red curtains uh, folder, which is where I want to be. And what I want to do is, first thing I want to do is I want to save what I have here into another profile. So I'm going to, not not the welcome, so let's make sure. Okay, so it defaulted to the welcome because of my previous tutorial, but what, what it, where it should default is your last known folder. And uh, so you might want to navigate to the to the right folder that, that you're working with um, what I do is I just click on the 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 original settings file and then I would go into my welcome folder and go ahead and just save that in there as well so now if you go back to the folder you'll see now that we have a settings XML file which is what we need okay so now that we have that I'm gonna work within that folder itself so let me go ahead and change my directory here of where the images are and let me go ahead and now I'm not sure if this actually needs to be done I haven't tested it out but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna make sure I'm pointed in there because of the saving I'm gonna be saving this file often um, so I just wanna make sure I'm in the right folder so now that it's pointing to the welcomes folder I'm gonna head, go ahead and make some changes to this profile the first thing I want to do is make sure I change the enable live view screen so I'm take that, taking that off because while you while you have your welcome screen, you don't necessarily need that. The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure my properties or my screen, act, the the act the active part of my screen on my touch screens are are correct. So let's go ahead and click on the settings. And as I mentioned, the start boot is usually where you usually start. And let's see what the screen touch areas are. So that's that's correct for the for the start boot because I had a, if you remember the image, there was a button right there. So but but because I'm building a welcome screen, I want the entire screen to be an active screen. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to select a separate profile. So let me go ahead right here into my auxiliary profile locations and select profile number two. And then I need to change these values. So let me explain to you how these values work. Let's go to show touch screen. So, so what you want to do is you have a value of 100 on the left side, 100 on the, on the top. Uh, about 1900 on the right and a thousand now this 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 may change depending on the size of your screen but in my screen this is what it is so I'm gonna make my settings to change to match that so I'm gonna go to the edge of the left which is 100 
I want to go to the very top of the top screen, which is 100. And on the right, I want to go to the very right of my, of my right side. And the bottom, I believe the largest um, value was 1,000. So now let's go ahead and check that out. And yeah, that's good. I mean, based on my image, everybody will, will be tempted to, will, will be directed to touch the tap the screen right in the center. So I have that covered just in case they want to tap anywhere else. I have that covered as well. So that, that allows the user to go ahead and tap the screen and then now they go into the second profile which is the actual photo booth profile. So we have that set. Okay, next thing we want to do is make sure that we have our profiles. Speaking of profiles, right? Profile set correctly. Now I've worked through this tutorial before but I'm going to show you what I did. All you got to do is click the dots on the, the right hand side and make sure that you're pointing to the right directory. So in this case, profile one, because I wanted to start with on the welcome screen I have to tell it where to go grab the profile for that welcome screen so it's in my welcome folder and there's my settings and profile 2 is where I needed to go after you've selected a screen so I need to make sure that it goes back into where all of my image files are in in the red curtains profile folder and select that okay so now we have profile 1, profile 2 what you want to make sure you do now is make sure on this bottom part here's the default profile is always going to default profile one. Click OK. And we should be set. Let's go ahead and save this. And make sure you're on the right, you're saving it to the right profile in the right directory. Yes, works for me. Okay, great. Now before I, I, I jump out of here to see what it looks like, I want to make sure that my photo images it's pointed to the right folder and in my welcome folder I don't necessarily have all my photo images so what I want are my screen images so I want to make sure I always point back to where my screen images are located and click OK before I leave otherwise you get an error message so let's go ahead and open the full screen mode and that's not what I wanted <laughs> so there's something wrong here let's take a look it's a good tutorial it's good to have a little troubleshooting session Okay, let's open this up here. And let's see what the issue is. Okay, red curtains. And let's go to the welcome. Ah, so it looks like the screen name did not change. So going back to your folder, when you, when you copy over the welcome screen, make sure you change that to the appropriate name what the software is looking for is actually the word sorry not red 7 but ready now that we have that correct let's go back and oops sorry we need to go now that's the error message I was referring to if you don't have it pointed to the right directory because it's not it's trying to read the directory red curtains welcome and as I mentioned to you welcome does not have my image in my images so I want to make sure that I'm always pointing to the right location and in order to do that as well what you do is you could load the profile from that um, from that location load the profile and the other thing you can do is when you do that just hit OK and now you go to the screen and there we go the welcome screen we click that should take me to the next screen and we can see now this is interesting we can see that the screens a bit off here it's not right in the square that that's part of the image so we want to make an adjustment to our screen to do that so let's go ahead and, and take care of that as well the way we do that let's go back to our photo booth settings and where that property or where that value resides is right here your top offset so right now it's set to 300 so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a value change to that to about 363 is what I'm looking at and I need to save this before I get out so I'm going to go ahead and save it and make sure you're saving it to the right profile so this is the new profile right there that's the profile within one the one that's this is the profile we're working with within the red curtains um, uh, directory go ahead and click save 
Yes, replace it. Click OK. Now we go to the full screen mode. Okay, excellent. We got our welcome screen, exactly what we're expecting. Um, every next design. Click OK. And there you go. The screen itself now is aligned with the image in the, in the background. So remember that one, um, uh, the uh, camera not connected piece I was referring to? Let's take a look at that. So uh, let me get out of the, um, the full, full screen mode and get back into full screen mode because I want to start in my welcome screen and I'm going to turn my camera off. That's exactly what I was expecting and wanted. So if you did not have a camera not connected image in the welcome folder, which is a secondary folder within the main directory of your photo images, then you would get something else. Pretty much a default screen, which is the uh, black screen with the with the, the white letters, and um, but that's not what we want. We we want to be much creative than that, and actually more presentable. And instead of saying camera not connected, we've decided to create our our images with a "We'll be right back" because hey, what if you need a break, right? You don't want to tell them camera's not connected. Just tell them we'll be right back. And um, or you can set your break times on here and say we'll be right back in 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and turn the camera back on now. And as soon as the software recognizes the camera is activated, it should take you right back to your welcome screen. And if you click the screen, it takes you back, takes you into your photo booth screen. Well, there you have it, folks. The welcome screen tutorial. So if you have any questions, go ahead and just leave comments, and uh, I always check them. Or if you, or if that doesn't work, we have a forum now on our website, and uh, you can always leave uh, general comments or questions of how to do things, and um, I'll be here to help you out. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Bye. -bye.